Wanted to do a quick update on the postman. Um, if you guys have any questions or you want to write any comments or anything, uh, feel free to message us at uh, therealpostman.com. Um, you can also find us on Facebook under the postman. So, um, just a just a quick update. So, BC, we still have a lot of outposts running out there that are collecting donations. Um, we're sending the donations mainly to Williams Lake right now. Cla Claudel is actually running the donation center there. She's the lead there. And uh, what's happened is in that area, that's pretty much where all the fires were really harsh. They they depleted a lot of the housing that's there, and and a lot of people didn't have insurance. So. They need everything, washers, dryers, fridges, stoves, um, this sort of thing. So B is our provincial director. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can um, basically contact her through Facebook. Uh, her email is also on our Facebook uh, page as well as our website. Um, Alberta is doing really well. We have uh, outposts all over Alberta. Um, we had a fire yesterday near one of our outposts, which was uh, Cindy. And, uh, and, you know, prayers for her are awesome and uh, some encouraging words would also be uh, beneficial to her. So um, we're also looking for uh, volunteers in Saskatchewan. So what happens is we have a, a board of director member that um, basically contacts you if you decide that you want to go ahead and uh, register as an outpost. And uh, what really happens is that during, during the time of a, a disaster, um, we have outposts lined up so that we can create a supply line throughout all of the provinces. So um, say there was a fire again in Fort McMurray, we have uh, postmen for all the way from southern Alberta up that can uh, send donations up on a supply line to get it to that area as fast as possible. So I just wanted to address a couple things. Um, one, when you guys give us your donations, we put it into the hands of the people 100%. We don't keep anything. Um, we're a volunteer group right now. One day we will be registering as a charity and we do have a law firm that's working on that uh, right now actually. So they've been doing it for a couple months now and uh, they volunteered their time. And there's a board member that's actually an attorney. So um, that will be coming and will be happening as soon as possible. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, we are creating file numbers. Um, the reason why we're doing this is because if you have a family that you see on one of the posts that uh, you really feel like you want to assist, what you do is you just write your uh, file and case number down on that donation, uh, send it up, and we will actually bring it directly to whatever um, uh, file number is marked on there. Um, we try not to divulge any uh, personal information um, or anything like that. So unless it's the family uh, that gives us permission to do that. So, however, uh, we make sure your donations go to the people, and uh, that's we're gonna we're gonna continue doing that. Um, you know, we're for the people, by the people. Uh, we love our neighbors as we love ourselves, and uh, and that's what we're about. You know, we're not about uh, making a profit or talking bad about other organizations or anything like that. So, I just wanted to touch base with you all, let you know what's going on, and let you know that we're still here. Um, we're going to keep pushing on uh, and we're just going to keep doing what we do. So each year we get bigger, better, faster, and we're going to continue to do that. Um, anyways, guys, God bless. We'll talk to you again.